So let's talk about another factor which affect rate of photosynthesis and that factor is temperature. Now light reactions are temperature sensitive but they are affected to a much lesser extent because in light reaction much enzymes they are not involved. But if we compare it with the dark reactions, the dark reactions being enzymatic are temperature controlled. With every 10 degree rise in temperature, rate of dark reaction increases by factor of 2 because increase in temperature increases activity of enzymes to a particular limit. Tropical plants have a higher temperature optimum than the plants adapted to temperate climates. So basically here we have to talk about optimum temperature for C3 and C4 plants. For C3 plants it is 20 to 25 degrees Celsius and C4 it is 30 to 45 degrees Celsius. Another factor is water. Water is one of the raw material utilized for the photosynthesis but you have to keep this in mind that whatever water which is absorbed by the plant only less than 1% is utilized for the process of photosynthesis. A small amount of water is required for the photosynthesis. That's why you are going to say that water is really a limiting factor in photosynthesis. It does not have any direct effect. Rather, it is going to affect photosynthesis indirectly. Now, how it is going to affect photosynthesis indirectly? Now, when in the plant there is water crisis, under water stress condition, there is closure of stomata. And if closure of stomata is there, this is going to reduce carbon dioxide availability. Now, if concentration of carbon dioxide decreases, so surely it is going to decrease rate of photosynthesis. So, please be clear about it. When there is water stress condition, photosynthesis is not going to be affected directly. Under water stress condition, there will be closure of stomata due to closure, availability of carbon dioxide is going to decrease which will affect photosynthesis. So, this is not direct, this is indirect effect. And it is quite simple. Under water stress condition, leaves will wilt. This will reduce surface area and reduces the surface area for the light absorption, so which is going to affect photosynthesis. Now, water is very essential for controlling metabolic activities in the plant. In the plant, metabolic activities, they are dependent upon the water content. Now, the metabolic activity reduces due to water stress. So, you can see here water is going to affect in three ways. One, by closing the stomata. Second, reducing surface area of the leaf for absorption of light due to wilting and third this is going to reduce metabolic activity. Now we have to talk about internal factors. Now the one which we are going to discuss here that is chlorophyll. Now photosynthetic number, photosynthetic number or assimilation number shows a relationship between the chlorophyll and photosynthesis. Now, what is this photosynthetic number? It is amount of carbon dioxide assimilated. It is amount of carbon dioxide fixed in grams by one gram of chlorophyll in an hour. Now, the second factor is photosynthetic products. So, these are the products which are formed during photosynthesis. Now, if there is accumulation of photosynthetic products due to accumulation, what happens? Rate of respiration increases and this is going to decrease rate of photosynthesis. So, this is all about the factors which affect photosynthesis. So, at the end, we are going to take a few questions here. Now, first one, mark the odd one out with respect to internal factors affecting photosynthesis. Yes, amount of chlorophyll, this is internal factor, mesophyll cells, internal, orientation of leaves, internal, yes, light intensity, this is external factor. So, our right answer here is option number 2. Optimum temperature for the photosynthetic process of C3 plants is, just now we have discussed, it is 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. So, our answer is 1 here. Yes, so this is all about the factors which affect photosynthesis. So now we are going to move further.